What's up, guys? We're back. We just rescued Hogan and Mogan from doing bad stuff to their town. Uh, Hogan apparently has a son and wife, which is fascinating. <laughs> we found. Well, that's unfortunate. 165 cl- <laughs> So many people. I feel like we made the right choice. I feel like we made the we right choice. We basically uh, just gained another third of what we had. Approaches us both. Or no, we gained 50% of what we had, actually. Ah, yes, this is the banner. Right. Oh yeah. Of the of the the, the titular saga. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I was hoping you'd sew the banner with everything that's happened since we left Skoger. Come and find me another time, Rook, and we'll talk. Oh, I'll bet we'll talk. Dad, are you the chieftain now? Yes. <laughs> oh, then that means. What what does that mean? Yeah. What does that mean? Oddly's been teaching me how to sew. She speaks pretty highly. Of you, can we read the part about mom? On the banner, it has been sewn the story of the families who've lived in Skoger throughout the years, just as it is done on every banner in every town. I wish she were here, but I'm kind of glad she isn't. The section of banner about your family is short, but Alette has been sewing in colorful designs. She'd just slow us down. Why do you say that? So she doesn't have to deal with all this dredge, leaving home, and... Why did you have to kill those men in the village? I mean, if it's okay to ask. I had to make a hard choice. Because the dredge are terrifying. Every time we have to fight them, I just want to run, but I don't want to kill a person. Uh, I'm glad you don't want to. We're not choosing it because it's what we feel. We choose it because it's what she wants to hear, yeah. which is the pragmatic choice. The pragmatic can... choice is apologize <laughs> later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if we can level anybody up. Ivor, probably. Probably, yeah. Nope. He is too short. Oh. Eagle is too short. Hogan is one short. Mogan, though. Well, should we maybe save it for someone else? In case, in, in case there is... I guess, yeah, it's unlikely that we're going to... Actually, I can't level anybody else. All right, He's Mogan it is. One, and it would only cost five. So, yeah, let's, let's promote him. Whatever. Mogan looks more like the warrior anyway than Hogan, so... What, because he's got the scar? Yeah. That's the only difference between them. <laughs> he's not as afraid as, Mo or as Hogan. That's true. All right. Uh, let's give him... What do you say we give him another exertion so that way he can spend three and he actually becomes kind of worthwhile? And, and yes, I would do exactly that. Way he that way can get he can just like increments. keep using his, yeah. his flail. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Cool. All right, uh, let's get back out there onto the road. We are not going to rest. We are not going should we to... Should we talk to Oddly? Oh, yeah, we should. Yeah. She's going to have... How you doing, Odd? I'm all right. But I realized after I handed you the banner, I probably gave you the wrong impression. My husband's still in and out of conscious... Oh, he's still alive? Wait. How did that happen? I would have sworn he was dead. I thought he always dies. Maybe I... he will die? I... Maybe. Do... I didn't know he was... What did we do so differently? I don't know what I did differently. I went after the fighters this time. Maybe he will still die. I feel like yeah. he has to die. What if he becomes a party member? What do we do? I don't know what to do. I would vouch for you. What do you mean pretend? Fuck you. <laughs> oh. Have you always been <laughs> talking to him? I gave her the huh answer the last time. Ah, uh, that's funny. It'll be safe with you and Olette. I know you're going to take care of it. Yes, that's true. Until inevitably. Yeah. Because Rook is going to be more useful. Yup. <laughs> Did you know that uh, Stoic uh, Studio... For anyone that doesn't know, Stoic made this game. Um, did you know that they, they ran a competition for, um, like, making a banner? That's amazing. Yeah. Really? They, so I think cool. they selected three or four people that made patterns for it, and then they made a legitimate banner out of it. That's so sick. Jen actually was going to participate in she that. She should have. She, she should have. She just didn't have the time to. That's fair. Uh, let's see. Small split in the trail. A few fighters speak with you. We recognize this place. Spent several years here with the kin. If they're still around. We'll have to warn them what's coming with less. Ooh. Hmm. We don't give them extra supplies. No. You think you'll survive out there in your own? <laughs> well... Later, guys. That's Good luck. We have to go. Out here alone, our kin is good as dead. All right, can't really argue with that. Minus eight fighters, no additional mm. supplies lost. It's not the worst. It's not too bad. I'm going to hide this. It's, it's roughly a tenth of our fighters, though. Complaints of Raf's Varders, excessive drinking have resurfaced. This time, the man stumbled over some tent ropes, pulled the snag canvas through a campfire, nearly set a supply wagon on fire. This man drinks nothing but water from now on. Yeah, save the booze for the good people. He groggily agrees, and somehow you doubt it'll be long. Oh, God. Here it comes. Well, we'll just kill him next time. Our morale is normal. It's not bad. Well, I think that's pretty expected from this point. Unless you really mess up. Oh, 
God. All right, so he just, like, cried wolf on us. Um, he's, like, we didn't find any dredge. Uh, oh, I see. Just... Well, if, no, if we kill him, then we lose a guy. If we don't kill him, then we still have another guy. The caravan is annoyed by the scare and the delay. Eventually, Raft's Varda bursts into laughter, and you're sure there were never any dredge. Not long after, he goes missing. Nobody searches for him or seems to mind. <laughs> So, I don't really mind either. Yeah, they got him. They they took care of it, which is good. And I, it's good <laughs> because I didn't have to tell anybody to take care of it. Still no Varl. I know I have at least one. <laughs> I don't think he counts because we can't really lose him. People are talking. I don't know. Yeah, I know we have at least one because there he is. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I think those are only represented, those numbers only represent, like, resources. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Frostveller, the gates are closed. We come to a stop at the bottom of the hill. All right, this is where the game sort of becomes real. Everything oh, up this, until now is preliminary. This is, is this the town, the, the town with the, the yeah. closed gate? Yeah, this is the town where there are, I want to say within this one town, there are like a half a dozen decisions you can make that affect like up to four different characters. So it's it's got a lot of depth to it. And it's not an easy no, situation. It's, it's not either. easy to figure out. It's like there's. This is the first legitimate point of the game that you're more likely to to screw up than not. Mm -hmm. And actually, what's funny is that there's a lot of uh, responses to this situation that are just totally incorrect and will get you super <laughs> fucked. Yes. So, Rook, I just talked to some of the women here. No, no one is being led into the city. Why? It's overrun with Varl from Blotzbulker, Greyhorn, people from Beetra, all the nearby villages. The dredge are everywhere. And the chieftain of Frostfeller has locked himself in his great hall. That's when they close the gates. When the dredge come, these hills will turn red. We have to get in there. So... I want to know more about what's happening, about what's going on. Do we want to gather some information? Do we want to lay low? Do we want to just force our way inside? Because we know that's where we have to go. Hmm. If we stay out here, we'll die. That's true. Pragmatism demands we get inside these walls. At the end of the day, having walls to protect us will be better than not. Yeah, and it's not like having information is going to get us in there any sooner. Exactly. All right, I can get that gate open. Okay. I wasn't going to break it. Just push really hard. <laughs> Okay, uh, we'll All get right. to the gate then, I guess. Uh, let's see what happens. You approach the gate where hundreds of people have gathered in the trodden, bloody space in front of the door. Several pincushioned bodies lie unclaimed, as though they simply belonged there. I like the description of pincushioned bodies. Yeah, right. Archers up on the wall make it clear nobody will be getting in. Men and women below intermittently call for mercy and reason when they're not flinging stones and curses. Um, did you really expect to push these gates open? I'm willing to try. And when men start shooting arrows and pouring out to stop you, then you kill them, he says. We're not sure this is the most sound plan. <laughs> We're not doing this. That's a terrible idea. He seems almost relieved that he didn't have to live up to his earlier boast. <laughs> uh, let's leave the gates and try something else. I don't think shouting at the crowd is going to help. Um, yeah. Oddleaf seems to have an idea. I guess it's at the gate. Uh, we can go to the. What's interesting about this is that oh, we can, uh, we can go to the market, the market outside, uh, so we could buy some stuff if we needed to. It appears that they have twenty-one supplies. One renown gets three, so I could spend seven renown and get twenty-one more supplies, which would be thirteen days worth. Uh, I don't know if that's efficient, though. I mean, we probably want to rank up our guys more than get supplies. The problem is that right now we only have eighty. Yes. If we get 21, we'll have 13 additional days. And if you recall... What's the ratio? One renown gets us three? Yeah, I guess is, that's about as good as it gets. It gets up to one in four some places, but not everywhere. I think seven is fine. We have 35. We'll still have 28 left. And we're at the early stage of the game where it's relatively cheap to level people up. How much renown are we spending? Seven. To get 21 supplies. If we spend five, then we're at an even 30. Yeah, that's true. And it still gets us 12 days worth. Yeah, that's I think that's better. Sure. Okay, uh, I will leave the market then. We will go look at our heroes real quick. I don't think there's any reason to look at our heroes because we haven't gotten in a fight since then. I don't think so, no. Right. We're about to, but... Right, yes we are. Uh, I will go back to the gate. Yeah, I think that's... Oh, this is... All right, so let's find out more. Crowd, they've got huge stores of supplies in there. They're just hoarding them. I was following the outside of these walls. There's a water passage we could squeeze through. Uh, let's check out the water passage. It'll get us inside. Um, go without me. It looks like we'll get you on top of the walls and down to the gate where you can open it. All right, wait for us at the gate. We'll be back. I mean, he's already injured anyway, so... Yeah, well, no, actually, he's he's uh, he's recovered from his injury. Oh, did he? Yeah. 
Uh, so now I've got my party is just full at this point. Um, Alette doesn't want to kill a person, so I have to try and... Do I have to? No, I don't. I mean, we don't really care about exactly. what she wants. Alette, if I need you to kill a person, you are going to kill a person. It's going to happen. All right, so I'm going to put these two guys not up front, I think. I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to ignore those guys behind me, and I'm going to consider them as being split. And instead, I'm just going to turn around, murder these two guys, and then and make then, a stand in the corner. That's that's probably what I would do, too, yeah. actually. Okay, so Eagle's going first, so pretty easy move with Eagle is just get in there and stonewall. Yeah, okay, especially since neither of those characters are moving next. Bingo. Uh, let's see, this guy is going to go here, and then I'm going to bloody flail this dude. Two, three, four, two and two, not bad. Or one and three, maybe? I think that's about the average, is about two and two. Ooh, four damage, that's good. I think it would be more... Yeah, yeah, I think... We better think just it's... deal it. Oh! We could just kill her! I'm just gonna kill her! I forgot that I... I forgot this is Mogan, he's upgraded. <laughs> <laughs> you get a little better when you upgrade him. Um, oh, and the Rook can just murder him. Cool. <laughs> Easy mode, guys. <laughs> Easy game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, I can't okay. wait to see how some of the rest of these guys go through this game. Oh, yeah. I'm, if, I'm gonna if be you interested. Have, yeah, if, if you guys haven't checked out the other playthroughs, because we're doing the pragmatic... Nathan and, and Tony are doing the the douchebag and Rachel and... Bastard playthrough, I think yeah. is what we called it. Rachel yeah. and Jen are playing the, the nice people playthrough. So you should check those out too if you haven't seen them yet. I feel like I should mention it since it's been about five episodes. Yeah. Thereabouts. Uh, Alright, how do I want to handle this situation? Um, do I want to thread the needle? No, that hits everybody in a straight line. It's less useful than you'd think. I wish there was like a ricochet. I know it wouldn't make any sense, but if you could like, well, I guess, I guess some dredge it would make sense, right? Yeah. There is, there are some magic attacks that function that way, but I find that they're very oh, hard yeah. to predict. They are the menders, like the mender in this game is a really strong character, but he is incredibly difficult to use. You've got to have uh, some some real skill at setting up your encounters. Yes. Um, all right. So now I'm gonna go ahead and come out of this place because I don't want to just get peppered down by arrows. You know, that is that is an interesting thing about this game, though, is that there's very little as far as battlefield manipulation. There, We have the Varl that can mm -hmm. push targets, but yes. generally they'll only push them... Well, I guess they can push them pretty far across the battlefield, but... <laughs> Who should I kill? Wow. Uh, whoever has the most health. This one. I think, well... He, he has the most health, but he's also melee. I can just but, kill him. Yeah. I'm just going to kill him. Might as well. Yeah. Keep the melee guys off of your archers, and you will do well. Yes. Theoretically. Um, but anyway, so there's there's a lot of, like, tactics involved with, like, setting up the battlefield so you can deal maximum amount of damage, especially with the dredge, right? Yeah. But there's very few as far as battlefield manipulation. Um, That's actually a good point. So it's, it's very, very challenging to yeah. really make that work, but if you can, you can make some amazing stuff happen. Yeah. If you can pull it off. Wait, we can't shoot through enemies, can we? I don't actually know. I think you can. Oh, you can? Yeah. I didn't think you could. I think they're just out of range right now. The archers are, are being clever and staying just outside of where I can hit them. Maybe that's the thing with the dredge then. I thought I remembered that you couldn't shoot through enemies, but you could shoot through your own people. Um, but then one of those archers just shot through one of our guys and yeah. into another, so maybe I'm crazy. Yep, she's yeah, down. If you want to just keep shooting her, that's fine. Has she ever gotten a kill? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> her arrow could still kill someone. It could. It probably won't. It probably, I don't even know if it'll go off if she's on you, the ground. Oh, you only needed one there. Oh, did I? Oh, I didn't realize she was the... I thought she was the other one. I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. Yeah, it's my fault. Efficiency. Fuck. All right, uh, so if I go over here and then I bloody flail this guy... I definitely thought that was... Uh, Hogan? And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> what happened? Twinsies. Gets tough. Yeah, apparently you can shoot through people because she just shot through like four or five. Oh, but Alette? Oh, Alette could probably kill both of them. Wait, uh... Alette could kill both of them. Let's thread the needle. No, it's seven and eight. This is Rook. Never mind. Yeah. I, had, I thought it was strange that Alette was suddenly dealing a shitload more damage than normal. I'm just gonna go ahead and deal eight to this guy. Yeah. I can. God bless you. 
That's fine. If you want to keep killing my weak little archers, I'm fine with that. I don't know how much clearer I can make that. Yeah, they really are choosing the, oh, yeah. the not as They're useful like, oh, characters yeah. first. Maybe if, I, maybe if I whittle down his weak characters, then his strong characters won't totally... <laughs> Death. Death to the unbeliever. Right. You know, gameplay-wise, I think making Rook as powerful as he is has some unexpected side effects. Oh, yeah? Um, because he's one of the most useful, we also tend to care about him the, the most, right? Yeah. Um, so I feel like we kind of gain this loyalty oh. to Rook because we try the hardest to keep him on the battlefield. Yeah. So when des important decisions come on later in the game, it's that much more tense because you're like, no, I don't want to lose Rook. He's the most useful character ever. <laughs> Hogan is ready for promotion. Hell yeah. Yeah, all right. Up there. I, feel, I feel good about those guys. What in the depths are... Oh, eagle. Yeah. Okay, well, let's let's save this for the next episode. His eye twitches. Look at it. Look at him. <laughs> look at him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually read somewhere that uh, there's a, a very interesting secret to deciding whether or not you can trust a character in this game. And What's it's that? based off of uh, another crazy character that joins your party. I don't remember who it was. Um, but they say at one point, never trust a man wearing a helmet. And he's wearing a helmet too, so then you could be like, That's you're wearing a helmet. And he was, or he was like, or no, and then you could be, he's not wearing a helmet. And you could say, well, then what, how can I trust you? He's like, I'm not wearing a helmet, duh. <laughs> and that actually is a thing in the game. If a character is wearing a helmet, you probably can't trust them. Hmm. That's bizarre. But anyway. We'll see you in the archives. We'll see you in the archives. <laughs> Look at him. Just... <laughs> Never trust a man with an eye twitch. It's like, it's, how do you even get your beard to do that? 